Good morning, YouTube community. Corey with Deep South Picking. Been a while since I've done a haul video, so I figured I might better prove myself to some of these people after my last little rant. This is from uh, the last couple, couple three weeks of hauls. Most of it was from yesterday. Uh, one of the uh, good things of estate sales to look for is old people's shoes, SASs. Five bucks a pair, brand new in the box. They'll do anywhere from 45 to $60. Very good. Picked up three magnifying glasses for looking at the fine labels. Check this out. This is cool. Ted Williams, Sears Roebuck and Company. Ted Williams, Junior Pro Style Pocket T-Ball Glove. I think I gave two bucks for that. I thought this was cool. Red Cloud Packing Company, the home of better beef. Look at that phone number. UN2-9464. Made by... Uh, Denver M. Wright Jr. Company, St. Louis, Missouri. 50 cents. This is real nice. It's Falls Craft. Gonna have to figure out the uh, pattern. And I don't believe those are chips. They look like they were already done in the kiln. 50 cents. This one, my friend was with me. He handed it to me. He's like, what's this? And watching YouTube enough, I know, to look for that. Roseville Pottery, double zero, USA. 50 cents, not real sure what, where to go with it. It's got a couple little flea bites on it, but for 50 cents, should be good to go. Picked up these two vintage skateboards. Pretty cool. They are from, they're a little, they're a little crusty. But they're from the uh, Sport Fun Incorporated, Los Angeles, California. Five bucks for both of them. I got this. It is called a Daylight. Uh, got a name on it. A Daylight Flyer. It is a vintage, brand new in the box movie screen. My friend was with me. He got the 8mm camera. I got the movie screen. Yesterday, or two days ago, my buddy was yard selling. Called me and asked me about these. He gave $85 for them. I think I gave him 100. 26 pounds of Legos. All organized and color coded. Thank you. Picked this up at an estate auction a month ago. This is a starburst clock. Let's see here. Made by Harold Products, Chicago, Illinois, and Spart Spartus. Spartus is the name. It's like plastic or maybe even bakelite. And you can tell it's old. Check the plug. Always check the plug. But this may turn out to be a home run. I took it to a guy that runs the Army Museum here. And he told me, first off, let's see here. Yeah, patent date, May 1885. He said in 1887, the German army were the baddest people in the world and they wore these helmets, Picklehob helmets, and in the early 1890s the American soldiers thought they were so cool and they wanted helmets like the Picklehob helmets. These are handmade out of brass and bronze, uh, lead soldered together 
made in the 1890s by U.S. Army soldiers, and they were used for ceremonial purposes or just for cool-looking purposes. Uh, the gentleman that runs the museum said the badges are off German Picklehob helmets, the uh, spikes and the shrouds are off German Picklehob helmets. So he said this is kind of like a ceremonial helmet that is over a hundred years old. I bought three different ones for forty dollars a piece. So we're gonna give that a shot just to kind of see where we go on it. Uh, a couple weeks ago, picked up a pile of snapbacks, Levi Garrett, Douglas Battery Racing, an awesome 80s purple, uh, Winston Cup, Miller made the American way, mesh and snapback, uh, Marlboro leather strap, old school Salem corduroy snapback check out the tie-dye velvety camel joe camel snapback black camel silhouette snapback bud light snapback fedex championship series snapback red man golden blend snap Racing at the Rock, AC Delco. That's Rockingham. That that track hasn't been opening.